Welcome everybody to the Poke Battle Network. Today we are going to be doing our how to build of this brand new meta that Devin Corpse GG has provided us for the month of May. We've been doing it every month. These are so much fun. Brown Baller and I have had guest after guest rolling through the channel. It's so great. Brown, it's great to have you again. How you doing today? Pretty good, you know, excited for, you know, what we saw in the Rainstorm Cup as well as this new genetic meta here. It literally looks, it's definitely a lot of, you know, you get to use your brain for this meta and I think that's really cool. Yeah, it's another team builder. We had a little easy one earlier, a couple of typings, back to the early days of Sylph. Great, but we're back to the slots. It's like knockout cup for all over again. I'm loving it. And who better to have in this meta than the top meta lead of Devin Corp's GG, C. Leonardo himself, to join us and talk about this meta. So I'm so excited to have you here. Celio. how are you doing today? Hello, hi everyone. Yeah, thanks Sosa for having me. It's great to, to be here and speak about this meta. Now it is great to have you because we the minute Devin has announced this meta, there has been questions. There has been so many like, hey, what's this? What's that? It's great to have you help help us battlers understand and clear the air what's really needed and why you guys chose something this intricate. And I think I want to hear from the developers themselves. What brings you to make these kinds of metas? Uh, well, uh, I I developed this meta alongside with uh, Dedanius89, which is another meta developer uh, from Devon. Uh, he's a friend of mine. Uh, so we, we 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 often speak together, and we wanted to create something that no one had had created ever. That uh, with choosing something in the first slots uh, caused you downstream a series of constraints that uh, forced you to dynamically uh, adapt your team building in order to make your team eligible. Mm -hmm. And uh, the format uh, that came to mind was just to make the slot two, uh, sorry, uh, made the slot three and four dependent on what you had picked in the first two slots. And we thought that this kind of rule uh, was, uh, was recalling uh, something that you could inherit. So like, like uh, genome. Uh, so this is why uh, we named uh, the meta genetic. Mm -hmm. And in order to stay in within, within the lore or within the concept, we wanted to introduce some mutations. And so the last two slots are uh, types that you didn't use in your team. And uh, so uh, like, like when you have a, a flock of sheep and you have some black ones. And so these are mutations. And so you can use the shadows as well, but only in those slots. When I, you first look at this, I got a sense of Commander Cup from Sylph, where like you pick your one leader and then you pick from all of that down below. And but the what you got to pick is like restricted. So like if you pick, you know, one specific bird, you couldn't use another bird and the rest of them and all that kind of manipulating your team and building your team around that. It, Brown, when you saw this, did you like go, wait, what? Hold up, what? I fir uh, first, I was like, I was calling. So April was Rainstorm Cup. I was like, May is going to be Flower Cup. Right? And Something I was wrong. Going. And I was wrong. But I'm also very happy for genetic meta as well. I think this is awesome. This is just amount of thinking you can do for coming up your team. There's stuff like, I was building my team. I was like, oh, this is a great team. And I'm like, oh, wait, this is ineligible. I have to go back to the drawing board and then go back from there. It's like, well, how do I incorporate this? Like, this should be eligible to spawn. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. But I really love how it's very centric around the ghost, the water, and the poison monotype Pokemon. Because there's, you know, it feels open, but when you look at it, a lot of those monotype Pokemons are actually pre-evolution, so not really battle eligible. But, I mean, you have the mons like Feraligator, Kofagrigus and a pure poison would be Weezing. Or Weezing? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's like looking at those ones, it's very unique and it's like, okay, you, you could do two different ways. You can, you know, create it with the powerhouse of, you know, that monotype Pokemon, or you can use that monotype to your advantage to create, you know, new, your, use your slot two as your power type Pokemon here. So yeah. it's really, truly a unique way to look at everything. 
Celia, when you make these metas and you guys are developing it, is that what you guys keep in mind? Keeping it fresh, keeping it a different kind of team building style? Uh, well, our prime objective is usually uh, to make meta uh, that require a lot of skill to be played. Uh, we, we really don't want uh, the, uh, the competitions or the tournaments to be decided by the lead. Uh, so uh, what, what, when we create the meta, uh, we really are imagining why, while we are developed that, uh, we are imagining how the games are going to be played out and is there a way for any player to play around this Pokemon which looks very strong. If there's no way to play around unless you go full RPS, so we are going to ban it. We're going to ban the typing, we're going to ban that Pokemon in particular. Uh, so the the important thing is that is the meta playable and safe? Can the players have multiple ways of approaching the meta? Or or is it going to be full RPS? This is the this is our our prime aim. And this is why uh, we also uh, published Sovereign Meta last month. So super neutral, lot of normal types, uh, but no no fighters, no fighting moves, no charm. Uh, so yeah, uh, if we keep in mind the safety of the meta and how playable is it, uh, this is what we drive us. This is what it drives us to uh, to build them. You do a great job at that. Every meta has been different. Every meta has been really interesting, but at the same time, nothing is overpowering. When you guys gave us Sovereign and took out Charm and, and Counter, normals went crazy and it was the first time we had something like that. It was beautiful and I appreciate what you guys are doing. As we are gonna now tell you what the genetic meta is and we will like really have a good heart to heart on like what everything means here now at for the pokeball network so genetic cup as you see band typings i'm glad the bands are in there first band electric ground they're out okay cool uh actually uh the typings that we decided to ban were decided afterwards uh because we we really were sure we were sure about the water poison and ghost we thought that it were the best combination to create to create more variety in the shield and slots but then we uh, we had a problem we had a problem because whiskash was around and it was too strong lantern was around and it was too strong we really didn't want people to pick lantern as a child and we really didn't want people to pick whiskash as a child uh, so we said okay so let's get rid of electrics let's get rid of ground types especially because yeah ground is strong against poison electric is strong against water and and also grounding is, is pretty strong against most ghosts uh, especially Gengar and haunter and yeah uh, so we, we really didn't want that that, I guess maybe to go off of that I guess is there a reason though I specific this full type were banned and not just a singular Pokemon uh well I think because uh, you really well if you have to ban Lantern and Whiskav, you have to ban Quagsire as well, you have to ban Universe Tempfisk. At the end of the day, we just thought that it was... I mean, see, since the Wooden type was mandatory, uh, we thought that we really wanted to, to make this meta a safe place for Water types. Uh, at, at least as much as we could. So, uh, we couldn't really ban Grass type, uh, because there were a lot of uh, nice poison combinations that Grass does. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, if we could make something to to make the meta a better place for water types, we really had to get rid of the electrics uh, overall. Now, the first group you have the parent group. That is, you have to pick two monotypes of the specific three types that they have. Shadows are not allowed. That means out of the three, you can pick one and two and you cannot have a third. Celio, can you have water, water, or go ghost, ghost, if you would like? No, unfortunately you can't. You need to pick two different typings among the three uh, that are listed here. So it has to be two separate monotyping. So the Pokemon, as you see down here, is Cofagragus, we have Raligator, we talked about the, the uh, coughing too. That would be your first two Pokemon. 
your slot two, your next two Pokemon are the children Pokemon of that that uh, typing that you chose. And as Celio talked about, they wanted to put the restriction to go down. So you see, you have ghosts. This is a dual typing of this parent typing, which I think is great because, you know, you need a mommy and a daddy to make a baby or you need two parents to make a baby. So that is what we have. Now, there are tons and tons of questions. Shadows are not allowed. I see you have water poison, which is allowed. Celio, is this great to have Tentacruel as even though a water Pokemon, even though it has poison, are you allowed to have this? Absolutely. So this is this is why this meta is so interesting and, and funny as well. Uh, just because uh, in order for you to make up to the absence of the poison, because you didn't choose poison amongst the parent types, uh, you have the chance to use poison as well. If you uh, find a way to find it half poison, half water, or half poison, half ghost. So you can choose uh, Gengar or Hunter, or you can choose Tentacruel or Toxapex. In this way, you 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 are covered, and you have all three uh, types, which usually will give you a better coverage. Uh, will give your team a better coverage. So it is a really smart way of team building. Yeah, like Gengar and Hunter, I thought were mono ghosts. And I didn't realize they had the, po I forget that they have that poison typing. And I was like, wait a minute. So they're going to be parents. So if I go and pick a poison typing mono, I can get Gengar and Haunter down as my poison children and be good like that. Celio, we have so many restrictions so far in these first two. Um, I got to know, am I just stuck to having one typing from our... Am I stuck to just having one Pokemon of my parent typing? So like for my children, am I just stuck with Tentacruel and that's the only poison Pokemon, child Pokemon I can bring? Oh uh, no, you have much more choice than that, actually. Uh, as long as your children inherit for any parent, it's fine. So you can have both children inheriting from only one parent. So if you want to run double uh, partially poisoned children, you can have it as long as you have a poison parent. Oh, awesome. So I could do Toxicroak and Haunter and have my thing just be Muck and Feraligator. But because I had exactly. Muck the Poison, I can have my Ghost Pokemon in there and my Feraligator to hit those Hydro Kids. Awesome. Thank you, sir, for clearing that up. That is, that is actually really cool because, I mean, Poisons are something. And you know what? Poisons got them Razor Leafers in there. So, ooh. Ooh, this might be fun. Let's uh, now here's where we're getting really fun because this core four, these three typings, water, poison, and uh, ghost cannot be shadow. None of those typings cannot be shadow. You cannot have a shadow version of those typings. We have the mutation slot, which is all the other typings that aren't ghost, water, poison that are that you can make as shadow also no electric or ground in this typing as well that's why i said great to have the bands first so all of this banning is there the banning typing goes throughout all six you can't have it in your ghost set you can't have ground or electric in your your mutation or in your uh parent side you know that's just how it is beautiful because uh, I was picked, you know, you go and like, oh, have whatever you want in typing of slot three. You're thinking electric, not going to happen. This is where shadows are allowed. Now, Celian, Celio, I have ghosts. We have water. Can I pick a shadow skunk tank or a shadow toxic croak to fight in this as my mutation? No, sadly you cannot because they have uh, a, a parent typing, uh, so they are partly poison and you uh, you can't use them. Can I use a non-shadow toxic croak in the mutation slot as well then? If it can't be shadow, uh, can I use it as the mutation slot? No, but you can use it in your child slot. So toxic croak and regular scan tank, regular drapion. Uh, if you if you picked a a poison parent, mm -hmm. you are allowed to to use them uh, in the children's slot, but not in the mutation slot. So being clear and justifying what's happening here, 
You cannot use water typing, poison typing, or ghost typing in the mutation slot at all. Nothing of those parent typings, even if you don't have like the typing in your parent types, that third typing is not allowed. And that is going to open up that variety of shadows and mutations the board has ever seen. Because you're like, oh, I'll just get my shadow, uh, uh, gosh, what's a good shadow water Pokemon or shadow poison Pokemon? Shadow skunk tank out here. Gra you know, uh, it's got, you know, dark pulse. It's got flamethrower or whatever. Sludge bomb does damage. No, can't happen. So this is amazing. As a battler, I see this and I get really excited on like, what kind of shadow Pokemon can I find? Brown, when you see these limitations and this kind of meta, where do you go? What do you think about? So I personally, when I see the way that these restrictions are set up, I didn't go to slot one first. I actually slot one, I felt I had the most flexibility for Pokemon I wanted to run. Mm -hmm. I actually went to slot the, the later slots first and I'm like, okay, which Pokemon are actually eligible? Because it's like, okay, they have to have a shadow variant. Mm -hmm. Can't be water, can't be poison, can't be ghost. Go to PB Poke. What Pokemon are eligible for this? I'm like, okay. And I start going through and I see, okay, I like this Pokemon. Let's put this on a team in number five. I'm like, well, what also makes sense in this meta? Ooh, I like that. And I put that in number six as well. And I try and go back. Now I about calculate to number the three and four slots. I'm like, okay, what Pokemon do I like? I really, really like Sableye in almost every meta, especially with pure normal band. The only monotype you'll have is either ghost, water, or poison. I think Sableye is fantastic in this meta. So I was like, okay, I like Sableye. Well, if I want to run Sableye, then I have to use a ghost. So I looked at the ghosts. As much as I'd love to run Bayonet, uh, Cooper Creek is, I think it's just better uh, than Bayonet. Also, I think that's not fit that ability too, but Cooper Creek is what, what I prefer more uh, over Dustclops. And then I went to the other slot. It's like, okay, I can pick water or poison here. So I'm like, what's the list of things I can do? I'm like, hmm, there's gonna be a lot of waters. So like, I feel like grass is a lot of play in this meta. So like, let's run something like super like uh, non-degenerate. Let's run a victory bell. And then I'm like, okay. So if I want to run victory bell, then I've already picked my ghost. So like, I can't run water then. So it's like, I have to pick a pure poison type there too. So that's how I went about building this team. Yeah, he started backwards and going going to the top. I started at the front and I was like, all right, let's see what we got in Ghost. And then I was like, <laughs> and I was like, all right, let's see what poison model we have. And I was like, Ugh. and I was like, water. I was like, okay. Um, noticing a trend in all of these metas are, Celio, are you a water battler? Do you guys like favor water typing? Because like every meta, Empoleon, Whiskash, Quagsire, uh, Hydro Cannon user, everything. His water's just been so present. Well, I can't really deny that water types uh, offer a very wide variety of dual typings. Mm -hmm. And specifically, uh, we developed this meta uh, and we really wanted to use water as a parent type because uh, when we when we developed this meta, I, I I literally took pen and paper and drew and and wrote down all the possible su uh, subtypings that every single type could provide, and uh, so we wanted to create a good compromise between strong Pokemon that were monotyped, but also good good PvP valuable Pokemon that could be uh, generated with a dual typing. So water is is very good at this because. It can be Water Dark, and we have Greninja, we have Water Ghost, and we have Jellicent. We can have Water Poison, and we have Toxapex, and, uh, and Tentacruel. We have Water Grass, Ludicolo. If you want to if you want to run Ludicolo, you can uh, run Ludicolo. Water is so good with a variety of subtyping. So uh, in this particular meta, it was even more important. That's wonderful. I... I've loved that you guys have chosen water as the parent because it does have all those great variety. And I just wonder why grass and fire wasn't, but then you think about it, you're like, you'll get into an RPS. So 
I like the fact that we've got a lot of harder decisions. We'll get into the specific typings in just a minute here. Before we do, I just want one more question because I need to clarify, because this needs to be clarified up. If I choose a Toxicroak as my child, child, can I pick a Machamp? Oh, nope, nope, because that's solo. Uh, can I pick a Blaziken as my mutation? Because in the mutation slot, it says stuff that is uh, typings that are not covered in the first two. And with that fighting typing being part of it, I just have to ask, can I bring Blaziken as my mutation? Uh, no, you cannot because sadly you already used fighting, fighting typing. Fighting typing, good, perfect. Well. Yeah. Thank you for helping us all clarify that up and make sure that if we're putting uh, Sableye as our dark typing ghost in the child, we're not picking up a shiftry down in the mutation because that dark typing's already covered with Sableye. So that is going to be even more restrictions for battlers as this meta is going to provide you with some really hard, really thick, you're gonna have to really sit there maybe with some friends and just hash out how this will work what's gonna go down how it's gonna play out like is it even legal there's so much and i'm glad that we have Leonardo here to tell us all of this and give us this breakdown the top meta lead of the Devin Corps GG here. I'm so grateful. Thank you for answering all these questions for the audience because man, oh man, this looks fun, but want to make sure we got it all right. So since you're saying that we should do this with friends, would you like to be my friend for this, Sosa? Are we not friends yet? We are friends, but would you like to be my friend? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> hey, friends help each other any way they can. We're not lobsters in a bucket. We don't have claws. Um, so lobster sounds pretty good right now, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, lobster does. You know, those crab Pokemon could be popping up with some Warhammer. You could put out cra Is yeah. Krabby's mono? Yeah. Oh, Waterfall oh. crab hammer? Oh my oh. god, brown ball. Or better yet, or better yet, Kingler is a mono type water with legacy mud shot, crab hammer, and X scissor. Oh my goodness. There's gonna be some spice. We're gonna. Hello everybody. I'm cutting into this video now because we needed to wrap this up. I have hours with Cilianardo and Brown Baller that we will be bringing you with throughout the week. But this bit of information was is so important that battlers need to have that out there. We here at Pokey Battle Network want you to have this information as soon as possible so that you are ready for your main meta. Thank you, uh, Brown Faller and C. Leonardo for joining me today. Be sure to look out. We will be going in our next video talking about all of the typings, how we feel they fare, and then of course giving our mutations. Followed up by later in the weeks, we will be having a team build to help you, the battler, see how hard it is to team build because with picking one Pokemon, you're taking out all of that typing of the others, so it's real pick and choose. Good luck out there, battlers, as you are going through your Devin Corpse ranked journeys or your OGL runs. I'm Sosa Flo. This is the Poke Battle Network. Thank you to Brown Baller and C. Leonardo for joining me today and giving this information for you, the battler, because we needed it. <laughs> Thank you all for watching the Poke Battle Network, and like always, keep on battling.